Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing, we're continuing my 2022 year-end top tens as we're going to look at my number six lightweight in the world right now, the former world title challenger, Isaac Cruz or Isak Cruz, whatever you want to call him. Pitbull is his nickname. He's only 24 years old. He moves up four spots from being tied for 10th heading into the year. And, um, you know, he was coming off of his uh, second career defeat. He lost the fight very early in his career. He was coming off his second career defeat, a very close unanimous decision loss to Gervonta Tank Davis in December of 2021. So there was a lot of fire. He had wanted a rematch with Davis. It didn't end up happening, but he really was trying to build, him, build himself back up um, to get in line for a title shot. So he would take on former unified featherweight champion, and veteran Yuriorkis Gamboa. Now, nobody thought Gamboa was gonna beat him, but you gotta go out there against a guy like Gamboa and run right through him. And and Cruz who just put it on Gamboa, uh, knocking him out brutally in the sixth round, I believe, or fifth round, and, um, you know, made a statement for sure. That, that was on the uh, Errol Spence and um, your, your Dennis Ugas undercard. Then he got. Then he would fight a uh, former world title challenger Eduardo Ramirez next. Ramirez coming up from 130, who actually just a couple years ago was at 126. You know, another statement he needed to make against a smaller guy, naturally smaller guy, and he would do that. He would go out there and brutally knock out um, Eduardo Ramirez in two rounds. So two guys with decent names, you know, um, and veterans, and he went out there and scored two big knockouts but he didn't get the big fight he wanted he actually got criticism for turning down a fight with Ryan Garcia he also turned down a mandatory fight with Shakur Stevenson that would have been a final eliminator for the WBC so Cruz you know obviously it, his management Al Heyman wants to keep him fighting within the PBC um, and I respect that to an extent but they got to get him in there with somebody. He, right now, he's the WBC's number two contender. That, he, that might be he might be dropping though because he refused the fight with Shakur Stevenson. But you know, Cruz needs to cash in on big fights, um, and you know he needs to do that as soon as possible. I definitely think he's a back burner option if the Ryan Garcia fight falls through for Javante Davis. Davis has um, Hector Luis Garcia coming up. Uh, actually this weekend on January 7th um, and then after that he's supposed to be fighting Ryan Garcia in the spring but hey you know they, they've agreed to it in principle it's all supposed to be good but you never know in boxing so I think he's keeping Cruz as a backup option but if Davis win or lose against Ryan Garcia he might want to come back before the end of the year and take on a guy like Cruz but the big question is is what does Cruz do until then well the PBC has some decent lightweights um, Frank Martin coming off of a big win over Michelle Rivera. You know, that would be a decent fight right there. Stylistically, though, might be a bad matchup. Michelle Rivera might be a good matchup. Rolando Romero might be a good matchup. So I really think, you know, he pretty much can get, you know, uh, solid opponents, but he definitely needs to step it up from the guys that he's um, a, a solid betting favorite against, like the Gamboas and Ramirez. He definitely made statements with those two wins, but he needs to cash in on it in 2023 with either a title shot or an eliminator against another top 10 guy or a guy who's considered to be a threat. So we'll see what happens for Cruz, but that's it. That's what I got. That's my number six lightweight in the world right now, former world title challenger, Isaac Cruz, as my 2022 year-end top 10s continue. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.